Alright, number one. I want to know the area between the graph and the x-axis between 1 and 7. So whatever that is, that's my answer. Okay. What I would probably do is look at shapes that are identifiable. And it looks like there's a lot that you could do. You could do one, two, three trapezoids in a rectangle. Oh, yeah, so, so this is what I see when I look at it. Yeah. Um, some people would probably see this flat line because all you're doing is finding the area, right? Some people would see what Jacob said, a big, huge rectangle. That's fine, too. Um, so the rectangle, the triangle, and then another triangle. That'll work. And then just add them up. One half times the base times height for the triangles, base times height for the rectangles, and so on and so forth. Part B. All right, part B. Thank you for bringing this up. The average value of a function is this. Okay, here we go. If I had, if you had four grades in my grade book right now, and I told you to find the average of all of them, what would you do? You add them up and you divide by four. You divide by how many do you have? Do you understand? This right here, the area that you see right now that we got from part A, I'm trying to average that area. So when you're finding the average value of f, okay, the f function is what you're integrating. That's step one. Okay? And it's from one to seven. And if I want to find the average of this, I'm going to divide by what? Six. Six. I'm going to divide by six. And where does this six come from? It comes from this equation here, 1 over b minus a. So this is a to b. This is the average value of a function right here. Okay. We did touch on it, I believe, in Ed Puzzles, but we didn't practice enough, nor did I test it on um, Unit 8. I took it off because we didn't have time to go over it. It will be on Unit 9. Okay. The average value is simply this equation. Now, here's a mistake people make. If I told you, find me the average velocity, guess what function goes right there? If I said, find me the average velocity, what function would go there? The velocity function, f prime of x. If I wanted the average acceleration, you would say this. So from a to b multiplied b minus a. That's average acceleration. So when it asks the average value of f, the f function goes in there. And for this specific one, it's going to look at 1 to 7 and 7 minus 1. It would be 1 sixth of that integral. You're just going to divide part a by 6. Determine the answer of part a when the graph is translated 3 units upward. So you're just going to shift everything up 3 means that you're going to create a bigger rectangle on the bottom that has a height of 3 and still a base of 6. So it's going to be 18 added to whatever that was. Are we good? 18 added to the part A. And then the last one, determine the answer when the graph is translated. Um, wait, what? Oh, from part B. So from part B, if I translated it up, what would it be?